Okay, here I made up a pretty crazy exponential equation for you guys. We have 3 to the square root of x power is equal to 6 to the x squared power. You see that we have an exponential equation. The bases are different, and then the exponents are flavorable. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Zero? Yeah, I know the answer is zero, right? One of them, maybe. I don't know if this is another answer, right? Okay, let's see if we can do it or not. Check this out. First off, it's not nice that when we have an exponential equation that the bases are different. It's always not nice. So let's see how we can make it the same base. I'm just going to keep everything in terms of 3 to the power. So this right here states 3 to the square root of x. But for the 6, let's do the usual trick. That's just going to be what? We're going to write it as 3 to some power and hopefully that gives us this, that gives us the 6. And the way that we will do it is just do 3 to the log base 3 of 6 because this and that will cancel, we'll still get a 6. This raised to the x squared power and then when we have a power to a power, we can just multiply the powers and we see this right here, 3 to the square root of x has to be equal to 3 and then I'm just going to put it like this, x squared times log base 3 of 6. Now check this out. We have an equation where the bases are the same. That means the exponents have to be equal because 3 to the power, right, 3 to the x in general, it's a one-to-one -one function. So all we have to do is make this equal to that. So now how do we solve this? Usually we don't like to have square root of x, right? Yeah, so let's just go ahead and square both sides so that this and that will cancel. And you have to be careful. Whenever we square both sides, Maybe we'll end up with some extraneous answers, fake answers, pretty much. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to solve them, and then at the end, we'll check the answers. On the left-hand side, we get x. On the right-hand side, we square this, so this is x to the fourth power. And then this is the number, we square that. I'm just going to keep it as log base 3 of 6 squared. All right? Right here, if you want, you can divide both sides by x and then just indicate that x is equal to 0, it's a solution. That's okay, but it's not cool. People don't usually like to do that. So I'm just going to move this to the other side and then factor it. This is slightly more legitimate, I would say. So I'm just going to um, move this to the other side. So we have, let, let's put it down here, x to the fourth power times log base 3 of 6, square, and then move this to the other side, right, so it's minus x, and that's equal to 0, and then factor out the x. I know this is a little bit more work, but yeah, anyway, log base 3 of 6, and then square that, and then minus 1, this is equal to 0. So we see that, <laughs> alright, so here, we can just say x is equal to 0, and it's indeed a solution, because when x is equal to 0, 3 to the 0 is equal to 6 to the 0 because both of them will be equal to 1. And then the other situation is we need to have this right here being equal to 0, meaning that this part should be equal to 1. So let me put this down right here. We have x to the third power. And then log base 3 of 6, let me use the change of base formula and let me just write it as ln, right, for the, uh, for the new log. I'm just going to write this as ln6 over ln3 for this part here and then square that minus 1 is equal to 0 meaning this right here should be equal to 1 and then I'm just going to divide this on both sides so we get x to the third power equals do the reciprocal pretty much right so we will just have ln3 over ln6 right we'll do the reciprocal already and the two will still be positive because we did the reciprocal inside. So yeah, like this. And guess what? I can write this as, well actually, let's do this. This is x to the third power. Let's take the cube root on both sides. We don't need a plus or minus when we do cube root, all right? We will get x being equal to this guy. It's the same as saying log base 6. And then the input here is 3, all right? And then raised to what power? 2. And then because we took the cube root, so we will have the over 3. 
All right, so this is what we have. And now the question is, does this really work? Yes. I'm going to show you guys that this will indeed satisfy that equation in another video. So make sure you subscribe. But anyway, for now, check out the other video. I'll see you guys over there.